But we begin with breaking news. Ken Yell Brown, the man wanted in at least six homicides in Metro Detroit, has shot himself. A massive police scene at Ridgedale and Pasadena and Oak Park where that manhunt for Brown came to an end. 7 News reporter Kimberly Gregg is there live with new information. Kim? Yes, Alan and Glenda, we're in the area of Eight Mile and Coolidge, like you said, specifically Pasadena and Ridgedale. Let me step out of the way here because in the backyard of that corner house there is where Kenyell Brown tried taking his own life this afternoon. This is just a block away from an adult bookstore where one of our assignment editors, Amy Powers, heard that Brown was spotted. Store workers had called 911 after seeing him in the store and telling him to leave. But when police arrived, Brown was gone, but they got information that he could be close by in Oak Park. At some point, Oak Park and our officers, after there was a canine search, saw him. Uh, he began to evade the officers' attempt to uh, detain him. At some point, as he jumped a fence and went into a rear yard of a residence, he fired a single shot uh, into his head. At that point, officers called for EMS to transport Kenyell Brown to the hospital. The 40-year-old River Rouge man was finally under arrest in Oak Park after police believe he killed six people across Metro Detroit, murders that began in River Rouge. Uh, I find it very difficult to talk about her in past tense. The reality hits me, it hits me like a wave. Like I thought I would have been out of the, shape, the phase of shock by now, but I'm not. Brianna Green's mother, Kimberly Green, was one of Kenyell Brown's first victims, according to police, who say Brown also shot and killed Dorian Patterson. The motive unclear. Every time I think about my mom, because she was just beautiful inside and out, and that's such a cliche term um, or phrase, but it's true. She, she exuberated light and life, and that's what she brought to so many people. Brown's alleged killing spree began in River Rouge in December when police suspect he shot and killed a man. Then came the murders of Kimberly and Dorian in January. Then last week, Tuesday, in Highland Park, police believe Kenyell Brown killed Garcia's Woodyard. A couple days later, he allegedly shot and killed Amir Thaxton. And then early Saturday morning, Eugene Jennings. This afternoon, after Brown was arrested, a woman who may have been helping him was also placed in handcuffs. It's not over. Uh, there's others that we believe have been involved in trying to conceal him, uh, and we're going to take a look at them as well. And no word on what police think the woman who was arrested allegedly did to help Kenyell Brown. And we're told he is hospitalized right now. He is alive, but his condition is very critical. And again, Kenyell Brown, the man suspected in at least six murders, and we're told today also two carjackings, is finally under arrest. You're putting live in Oak Park, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News, back to you. And of course, we will stay on top of the story and have more tonight. Kimberly, thank you. And you can watch the Chief's entire press conference on our website right now, WXYZ.com. We're going to go.